Hey everyone, today I'm going to be modding my uh, new Honda 2200 generator and installing an hour meter on it. So I'll put the link to this specific hour meter in the description, but this is an AC uh, hour meter. So to do this mod you'll need uh, the hour meter, you'll need two pieces of wire, I uh, just had this wire lying around, but the gauge doesn't really matter because this is going to draw a very low amount of power, just a few milliamps, and then you're going to need some way to attach the wires to the Honda and to this. I'm going to use some uh, crimp-on connectors I have sitting around. If you don't have a crimp tool and some crimp-on connectors, uh, if you have a soldering iron that would do the trick as well, and then just a few wire ties to tie it all together. So let's go ahead and get started. So here you can see a few of the specs of the hour meter that I'm using. You can see the model number there and also that it's good for uh, AC and DC. Uh, this is a panel mount unit, meaning to install this I'm going to have to cut a hole uh, into the unit somewhere with a Dremel tool. If you don't want to modify the case at all, I think this vendor ENM makes a version that's uh, something you can stick on to the top of the unit. Uh, but I decided to cut a hole, go with a panel mount just so it's flush on the top. Uh, the other thing about this is this is a sealed unit. It is non-resettable, meaning you can't set it back to zero. So once it's hooked up and installed, it's there for good. Uh, the downside to this is that to actually view the number of hours you have, you have to run the generator to see how many hours are on the unit. There's no way to turn this on unless the unit is running. Uh, the upside is that this is sealed and there's no battery in this. A lot of the hour meters have some type of battery uh, to check the digital ones. This one has no battery, nothing to go bad, um, and the memory chip in here is sealed in. So it will remember when power is no longer applied what the last uh, hour setting was, and then when power is reapplied, it'll keep incrementing. So, uh, you know, you, they make different versions of this. Some are resettable, some have batteries. So just check and make sure you know what you're getting before you. Uh, or order your hour meter. So to get access to hook up the hour meter, I need to get take out the, these four screws right here, one, two, three, four, and that'll allow this to fold forward so I can get access to the screw terminals on the other side. Okay, I got the wires fed through with the help of a uh, coat hanger and some string. Uh, so I've got my stuff there, and now I'm going to take off the AC at a seven millimeter uh, socket wrench seems to seems to fit that okay right there. So. so I just went ahead and used the uh, extra screw terminal and screwed one wire to uh, one side of the outlet and the other wire to the other side. And it, it doesn't matter what color you use, if you can, the, the wire doesn't matter uh, since this is an AC outlet. So if you have different color wire, just uh, put one on one side and one on the other. I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Alright, so this is where I've decided to mount the uh, the hour meter from this edge where it sort of comes straight up if I put a piece of cardboard there it's about uh, uh, five millimeters from that edge to where I'm starting the hole the hole itself is going to be 36 millimeters long by 24 millimeters wide and from the edge here uh, it's about it's about nine, about nine millimeters, I guess, um, from where I'm starting the hole. And I, I did feel under here, so this should hopefully avoid any of the ribs that you feel under the plastic, and it will put it uh, just left of right here, so I shouldn't uh, be banging into anything. And this is uh, this is pretty pretty short uh, to begin with. So let me get the Dremel and cut this hole. So here it is all installed. I ran the wires uh, behind this, uh, underneath. They kind of followed right up here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, seated right here. So it's got some clearance on both sides. And you can see it's uh, flush mount right there. So I think that's going to look uh, pretty clean once everything is uh, closed up. It should. Uh, should look pretty nice. So hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.